Hello, everybody. I am Natasha Dean, and with me is Sigmund Brower, the author of Unleashed, and Miss Judith Graves, who's the author of Exposed. And as Sigmund said, I'm the author of Burned, and the three books together are the first volume of the Retribution series, which is a set of books that can be read in any order and is all about four renegade teenagers who band together to take down the bad adult who has done them wrong. And not only do they band together, but they break the rules. They break the law to take down the lawbreakers. That's right. At all. So in my case, my bad guy is actually a woman named Mina Sherman, who is a decorated police officer. Yep. And a as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. In my case, in Joe's case, no, I'm not answering your question, Sigmund. My bad guy is actually a very, very bad girl who is a decorated <laughs> bad girl officer. Oh, no. You like bad Mina girls. Sherman. So, um, my but what Joe knows is that Mina is responsible for the murders of her mom, her little brother, and her best friend. My guy, Jace, is a boxer. He boxes under an assumed name because he's got so much money, comes from so much money, he doesn't want people to think of him as a rich kid. Mm -hmm. Jace is the brooding, silent guy who yes. thinks smart Alec thoughts, but hardly ever says them unless the women across from him at the table at Denny's deserve the smart <laughs> remark. Just saying. Judith. Yes. Oh, my character, right, Raven, is um, a car thief. You know, there's nothing really too wrong with that, right? No, not <laughs> yeah. at all. Um, and she does some parkour, so she does urban climbing, and she scales buildings and steals cars. But um, she does this for a reason. If she didn't, she'd be out on the streets, um, homeless and, you know, eating scraps, eating rats. <laughs> Off the street, I don't know. So, it, would, it would not be good. <laughs> so, but she's kind of in um, a car. She's in a car theft ring, and she thinks that her boss is a good guy, and he's helped her get off the streets, and he's given her some skills, and she's got some extra money now, and she can go to school, and she kind of slips through the system. Um, but she finds out that the guy running the show is actually quite evil, and she has to take him down. Yes. Uh, uh, and Judith, physically. Raven has dark hair. Yeah. The, hence yeah, the does. name Raven. Hence the she name does. Raven. Yeah. And because of her climbing skills, um, you know, that name also works because she's not afraid of heights. She can climb anything. Is her, is it dark hair long or short? Long. Yeah. Natasha, your character has an ethnic background. Yes, uh, Joe is half Chinese, half African. And I should say that, you know, we start talking about the fact that she lives on the streets and she does. She's gone to the streets because they're the best place for her to hide from Mina. Um, but like Raven, um, Joe is, she does bad things, but she's not all bad. Uh, and one of the things that she does to sort of give herself a sliver of clean in the mud that's her life right now is she works um, with a grocery store owner, so she goes in and she'll shoplift, uh, and then not because she's yeah, just hang on, she'll go in and shoplift. Show him uh, the holes in his security, and um, in return, he will give her food. Uh, but Joe doesn't keep the food; she goes and she hands it out to the other homeless people. Um, because, but yeah, I mean that's definitely for Raven and Joe. They definitely have that in common. They. They have to do what they have to do in order to survive because there's nothing coming in for them. Right. So. Oh, and she's an art forger. I should mention that. As well. So she can so hide it. Right. Yeah, that's Let's okay. just say this. Each of your stories are absolutely compelling. And I, I, I mean, they're, they're full of action. The characters are smart and sassy, just like both of you. Mm -hmm. And, um, Really, if I was going to choose one of the three books, I, I'm, a, I'm not saying I'd go with Unleashed. I'd go with Burned or Terminate first, and it'd be a, it'd be a tough call. But I maybe in the end, maybe in the end, they'll read all three. Yes, but can you remind us again how your story first starts off? 
What happens in the oh, first chapter? Well, a guy's that's compelling. That's what you gotta tell them. You gotta tell them. You mean because a guy's sitting on a toilet with his hands duct taped to curling irons that are about to heat up and melt his hands? Yeah, that's a pretty compelling yeah. way to open a story. That is. Yeah, so that's why after they read one of yours first, they should maybe get around to Unleashed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, how, does yours, how does yours open? Um, if I remember correctly, Raven is not exactly laying on the beach and uh, curled up with a good book. No, she's um, climbing a building, um, scaling a building um, without any, you know, she's doing her urban climbing. So there's no, she has no security measures with her. She's just free soloing this uh, climb and it appears that she's being chased or pursued by someone um, but then I did that writerly thing where you add a twist um, and the person who's actually pursuing her is her enemy. <laughs> Was that a spoiler? Sorry. <laughs> and she's the I don't have to add it. Tasha, as team leader, would you like to call this a wrap? Uh, you know, sure. You need to go back to libraries and, and order our books. Oh, yes. You sure. mean like this book or this book? Oh, or well this done, book? Thank you. Yay! Yeah.